Some relief for millions of people with long COVID could be sitting on the shelves of every corner drugstore. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at some new research that shows over-the-counter allergy medication is clearing up stuffy noses and some long COVID symptoms. We have redefined what it means to be a citizen scientist. Diana Barrent is the founder of Survivor Corps, an online group of 200,000 people with long COVID symptoms. With so many sharing stories, she says her group is an invaluable resource for doctors and researchers looking for answers. We've been able to comb through all of people's responses in their stories. Each one is like a miniature electronic health record that's been de-identified. That's how researchers at UC Irvine found out that simple over-the-counter antihistamines can help some people with their symptoms. It came up nearly a thousand times in the group. These patients are desperate to feel better. UC Irvine professor Dr. Melissa Pinto took those posts and dug for answers. She just published this case study of two people who say Benadryl nearly cured their long COVID. One patient saw rashes clear up and her brain fog, fatigue and headaches went away. Another's hands recovered from discoloration and several other issues disappeared. The brain fog lifted. Uh, she was able to begin to exercise again and able to work and the fatigue was much, much better. Dr. Pinto says these stories stand out because neither women expected or really even imagined that allergy medicine would work for their long COVID symptoms. It was just a welcome side effect. But she says that doesn't mean it'll work for everyone. So uh, we don't know who this is going to work for. We don't know if it's going to work for anyone else. That's also why local long COVID clinics urge caution with this news. Doctors at UC San Diego Health say they're aware of the antihistamine study, but... You know, there's been a lot of therapies that have kind of had a lot of excitement and then be proven to not actually work. Um, hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin, for example. Dr. Pinto says this is a crucial first step for millions of people with long COVID looking for a long-term solution. Now, it will take a full, random, blind trial to find out for sure. When you know nothing about a problem, it's really important that you document if something gets benefit because you need to leave a trail for others to follow to continue the scientific investigation. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now, if you are dealing with long COVID symptoms, experts say check with your doctor, though, before taking any kind of medication.